Ah, ta, 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 ta. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You pick up one of these in anger, and you'll never put it down. Marvel's Hit Monkey is not your average revenge saga. Bryce, an assassin, goes on one of his kills. He's double crossed, escapes through the mountains where he meets these snow monkeys who nurse him back to health. And then, of course, his past comes to haunt him. And it ends up in the death of all these monkeys, except for one. Fate has tethered you together for a reason. Yeah, to take out the pieces of shit who killed me and his monkey crew. They're this kind of awkward assassin team. You think Bryce is going to be the gas and Monkey's going to be the brick. But then, when Bryce tells Monkey to do something and he does it, but he does it in a way like Bryce didn't expect, then Bryce is the brick. Don't do it like that. Run! Ah, oh, oh, not towards the danger! The actors we bring in, you give them the script. Monkey, he's coming here to protect us all. They're going to bring in something special. The truth is, you're the only real friend I've ever had. <gasps> One of the biggest challenges was locking Monkey and Bryce down. How are we going to introduce people to these characters? And what is this tone going to be? How is it going to differ from the comic book and have it have that very cinematic graphic quality, making it look like one artistic vision? There are so many unique voices happening at the same time, all these different artists. It required a lot of collaboration between the departments. We have some rough effects going on here as a placeholder until we actually get the FX animator to work their magic. We deal with a lot of sound effects and music beds, and so often we'll go back and add something new or change something entirely that fits better with what the shot looks like. We're not supposed to show too much gore, but it's about a monkey assassin. So we got really creative. Some shots we might have utilized silhouettes or turned away from camera. What the hell? We took inspiration from live action movies, television shows, like we're looking at The Bourne Identity, we're looking at Pulp Fiction, but we also were looking at a lot of Asian cinema. We had to think about how to make an animal that doesn't speak English emote and come through, and then for the other character that he's interacting with to react. <laughs> Look, I, I hope this isn't about me, okay? Because I'd hate to cause any tension around the hot tub. He does have subtitles, so that helps. A lot of monkeys' traits came through exploration because we had to balance between watching footage of Japanese macaque monkeys actually being monkeys and then apply some humanity to that and make him feel like a person. Seriously, you look like a badass. I, I mean, you could use a good tailor, though. I can't wait for audience members to see, for people to respond to, and really connect with these characters and see how their relationship begins and how it evolves. Hey, a little sign language there. With this show, yeah, there's comedy, but there's an underlying heart and story. We get it, you're the conflicted killer, super original, but seriously, yeah, I'm sure the kid's better off without him. I never do my dad, and look at me, I turned out great. Hi there, it's Debbie. Did you know that in the 90s, Michael Jackson actually tried to buy Marvel Comics just so he could play Spider-Man? It might sound like a weird idea, but Stan Lee later admitted that he thought he would have been very good for the part. Who knows how that would have turned out? Remember to click below to subscribe, remember to tap the notification bell, or click on the side for more great content.